Hey, hey, beautiful people. So I'm going to talk about something kind of different today, which, you know, um, kind of forgiveness. And I want to talk about this because of my experience with it. Um, I'm a pretty forgiving person. I've always been like that all my life. I've always kind of been nice and forgiving. And I've had some shit happen in my life. I mean, some shit. I've been treated some bad. I, I've been, I've had my, my fair share of struggles and shit. Like, let's just say shit. Some people don't have as many bad experiences as some. Some people have a lot and some people have a few. So everybody's kind of different when it comes to that. And when it comes to forgiving, everybody's different. Depending on the situation, of the problem, of anything, the person who have might have done it to you, or just what they did, it, it all is different. Everybody is different. So I want to talk about that because I've had some bad stuff happen to me. And... I've always forgave. Forget? No. Friend them people? No. Forgave? Yes. And I don't forgive these people in these bad situations for them. I do it for me. Because what's the point of being mad and upset and irritable and angry all the time at somebody because of a situation they put you in or they hurt you? In some type of way what's the point of staying hurt and being upset about it like don't forgive them but don't forget be be the positive person and move on that's that's probably the biggest thing because if you don't move on and you don't forgive them then you're gonna be stuck in that situation um, when I was younger, I had somebody that hurt me, like physically hurt me, and I forgave them. After it was all said and done with, and I got myself out of that situation, I forgave them. They, they apologized multiple times later, but I forgave them. I just, I told them, you know, I forgive it. I don't forget it, and I don't want to associate um, forgiving somebody doesn't mean you want to be best friends or you want to hang out or do anything like that. You still remember that situation, but forgiving them is letting go of the stress and the bad feelings towards it. Because trust me, a bad situation can make somebody depressed, can really put a damper on your life. I mean, can make you unhappy, make you miserable, and you don't want to do that. You don't want to give that situation or that person that power over your life. You don't want to, because if they already did something bad to you to where you have to forgive them, then why give them more? Because that one bad situation they put you in is now taking over your life. Don't do it. You're, do, you're, you're doing this for you. You want to move on and forget so that you can be happy and get in a better situation and find a better life for yourself. So don't forgive somebody for, for them. Forgive them for you. Because, trust me, being heart, heartbroken and upset and stressed out over a situation is bad enough. So if you forgive them and move on, You'll be a lot happier. You will. But just because I forgave them people in my life that done bad things to me doesn't mean I don't I don't remember the situation. Because that one, you know, that person that hurt me wasn't probably was not the worst thing that happened to me. Because I had family members just straight up disrespect me or put me in a bad situation or say something so hurtful it was unreal or 
they said or did something to hurt me behind my back to get something out of it for themselves. There's a lot of people that will stomp on somebody else, even a loved one, just to get what they want. Because a lot of people are selfish. They are. But holding on to that is way worse. Because you're letting them control way, way too much of your life. If they did something bad like that, then forgive it and go on. Don't forget the situation. You don't have to be friends with them. You don't have to talk to them. You don't have to hang out with them. Forgive that situation so that you don't have to have it weighing on your mind and making you depressed and sad. Because I have a couple situations that I still to this day think of and honestly did not happen that long ago. And it was from loved ones, but they said or did things for their own gain. And it still bothers me to this day. But I forgave that situation so that I could move on. So that maybe I didn't have to sit there and, and stress out and worry about it. I've had friends or acquaintances, let me rephrase, lie. I mean, just straight up lie about situations. And then I didn't do it. Or, oh, I don't, oh, I, I don't know how that happened or you know, who done that? No. Because it's degrading. If if you know you did something, what's the point of denying it and lying about it? I don't understand. Just admit it and go on. You did something for your own gain, and now you are busted, and you don't want somebody to call you out on it. But a lot of people do that. They do a lot of shit for their own gain. Stomping on anybody or whoever to get it. I know a few people like that. It's happened to me. But I forgave the situation and moved on. Do I talk to them people? No. Do I hang out with them people? No. Do they still do it? Yes. But guess what? They're not doing it to me no more. They can lie and cheat and do whatever grimy shit they want to do to others. Because I'm not around to take the bullshit. Not. But forgiving somebody for the bullshit they put you through... It's not for them. Fuck them. They hurt you. They degraded you. Fuck them. You're forgiving them for you. You're forgiving the situation for you. So that maybe in a week, a month, a year, hopefully not a year, but you'll not think about it at all. Every now and then you might think about it, but it doesn't weigh on you. It doesn't stress you out. It doesn't make your life depressing. You want to be happy because guess what? You're dealt one life and you've got to play that hand the best way you can. You've got to play that what you're dealt. You know, a lot of people are growing up in bad situations and they blossom out. It just takes hard work and dedication. You've got to be willing to want to do it. You want, you've got to want to succeed in life and Go after all the things that you want. Because nobody else is going to do it for you. Nobody's going to hand you what you want. You can dream all day long. All you want. But nothing's going to happen if you don't put your mind to it and do it yourself. You have to do it. There's a lot of people out there that dream about doing stuff. They have dreams and goals. But that's all it is. If you don't go after it, it doesn't matter. It's not going to happen. You've got to fight for what you want. So, when somebody's mean to you and treats you like shit, or stabs you in the back, or steals something from you, or knocks you back down to where you got to build yourself back up, fuck them, forgive them, and move on and build yourself back up. Because guess what? In the future, when you do go after your goals, you're going to be standing there saying, yeah, I did it. I did it. Nobody else did it. I did. Nobody helped me. I built my ass up by myself. And I worked my ass off for it. Nobody else can take the credit for that shit. And guess what? Them same people are going to be contacting you. Oh, you want to hang out? You want to do this and that? No. No. Because guess what? You're going to be living your best life. 
and they're going to be the ones looking, oh, I shouldn't have done that or whatever. It doesn't really matter because you're going to be happy. So fuck them, forgive them, and go on for yourself. Well, I want to talk about that today because it's kind of on my mind, something I thought of. It is Wednesday, so middle of the week. I hope y'all all have a great and wonderful Wednesday. If you like this, like, share, comment, like my page, go to Bath House Legends and like it. And I'll talk to y'all guys later. Bye.